What's up you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. So I hold something special here on my hand, something amazing guys. I did it. I think some of you guys already know what I'm talking about. I freaking tried harder. Offensive security sent me their certificate. It's verifiable. I'll put my certificate link in the description below so you guys can verify it. Now, when did I get my my certificate? I'll show you guys this as well. But first of all, I have to cover up some things, of course. Now, I got my certificate. Let me show you guys real quick here. I got it on the 21st of November on 2019. Now, you guys know what date that is when I release this video, right? That's quite almost a year ago. When I release this video, it will be around the 11th of November 2020. Crazy pandemic stuff going on uh, it's insane so thank you guys very much for tuning in i think it's helping my channel as well but about a year ago i decided i wanted to be a hacker now how did my whole journey start because holy crap guys we are at almost 5,000 subscribers it's amazing we recently passed 4,500 i got oscp certified i'm a bug bounty hunter i do hacking stuff and it's amazing i don't consider myself a script kitty anymore but it all started out very very simple i was like a programmer i did some programming stuff for my job and i loved the hacking scene i loved thinking about all of the vulnerabilities that could arise and I went into software testing and there I did my hand at some proper software testing you know I just tried some uh, some SQL injection some cross-site scripting wherever applicable I tried some very basic stuff and it was really cool to do all of that I really enjoyed it of course but it was nothing compared to where I wanted to be so at a certain point I was working at a bank at this point, I had the chance to purchase a certified ethical hacker at a very cheap price because Humble Bundle sold that uh, that specific book. I uh, downloaded the ebook and I was planning on taking the exam. But in when I was working at the bank, we had internal pen testers and I asked them, so guys, what would you recommend me? I want to really become a good hacker and I want to have some skills that I can prove in this field so I can become like you, you know, pen testers, which I will never want to become, I think, but never say never, you know, uh, we'll get more into that later. And they were like, okay, so you have certified ethical hacker. That's not really highly viewed at in the field. We mostly look at OSCP certified people because OSCP has a very... A proven method of getting certified you know you have 24 hours to hack five boxes and it's an insane 24 hours you know you have to be really good at time management even more than just hacking because hacking you can learn a lot you can look it up um, I did a lot of stuff on the fly you know so one of my best friends was exploit DB I looked up all of the versions that were available I did my nmap scans used some basic flags like um, parameters I mean like dash sc dash sv got some of my ports and I hacked pretty much everything except for the hardest machine I didn't root that I got user on it but I didn't root it because I had like four hours left I didn't have any sleep yet and I knew I had enough points so I was like crap I'll just go to sleep make my report tomorrow send it in and I hope I'll pass you know and I did so you guys just saw the proof of that that was how it all started. Um, the, the preparations were crazy for OSCP because when I started preparing for it, um, I basically set myself a goal of doing at least four hours of studying every single day. So that was during the week. And then the, in the weekends, I would divide eight hours of studying for OSCP. Now, it was really hard on me because, of course, it would take up most of my free time. Four hours a day is quite a lot, um, but I was starting from zero, so I had to learn everything from scratch. I looked up quite a lot of methodologies. I looked up how other people did it, um, and I tried to hack some machines in the lab. But after my lab time ended, I was like, okay, I'm not completely ready yet. I don't want to take the exam yet, so I planned it for a couple of months later. You have some time after your exam and uh, after your lab time ends. So I took big advantage of that time and I went to hack the box with some friends, you know. 
And there I learned most of the routing skills that I had because on most of the machines I could easily get user, but I didn't know about any techniques for routing machines. So I'm talking about um, SUID, GUID uh, bits being set. I'm talking about cron jobs being available that are being executed as a root user, programs that are being executed as a root user. So there are many different ways to do your privilege escalation. And I found them online and I knew what they were because I read them, but I didn't really know what they were. If you guys are understanding what I'm saying, you know, I didn't fully grasp the concepts until I actually executed them with some friends. Now, why is this so important to me? I keep uh, iterating on the aspect of friends because I'm a very competitive person by nature. I always want to be first and if you guys play King of the Hill with me or something like that, I really like playing but I don't like losing. So um, that's why it helped me quite a bit because I wanted to explain my steps to other people if they were stuck. Um, and that's also what I want to do now, you know, I do all of the labs from Port Swigger because I want to explain how you guys should do the steps to get them completed. Sometimes you just need that little extra push, you know, and that's what I needed as well um, for myself. So I went to the forums quite a lot, of course. People say, don't go to the forums, don't go to the forums, bullshit. If that's how you learn, go to the forums. Sorry for my swearing there. Um, but it's really important that you apply your own learning technique to OSCP. So I paused and then I was like, okay, now what? I want to get some work in the cybersecurity fields. How are we going to go about that? Um, I made some applications through my firm that I work at because I work at a consultancy firm. We did some applications at some firms and they were like, okay, but you don't have any experience. So we're not looking for people that are certified without experience. I needed some verifiable experience before I could get a job. So what I did is I went bug bounty hunting because I heard that you get, first of all, get some extra cash with that, but also actually establish a reputation. And that was quite important for me. That's also one of the reasons, of course, I started the YouTube channel. I wanted to be a presence in the community because I really want some job and I really want some verifiable experience for uh, my employers. Um, now, of course, I don't want a new employer. Let me be really clear about that. I just want a new assignment via my current employer for a penetration testing job. Um, that's not something I am actively hunting for. That's not something we are actively looking for at the moment. I'm quite happy with my current job. I do test automation and I learned quite a lot at, at there. Um, so I don't want to switch jobs right now, but I am gathering all this experience for if my assignment might end in the future, um, then I want to be prepared with some proper experience as well. So that's when I started my bug bounty journey. Um, I got quite high up in the integrity top, I don't know, top 90 leaderboard. Um, I got up to, I think, at a certain moment, I was like number 16 in the top 90 days. So um, I really milked that, you know, I really used that to promote myself on social media. It really helped because it gathered my initial subscribers on YouTube. Um, and I kept hunting some more, you know, because I really liked the thrill of learning new things, getting my methodology up to point. Recently, I've been feeling a bit more down, so I haven't been hunting as much. It's also got to do with this corona pandemic and all being locked up inside and all of that stuff. So um, recently, I've been feeling a little less, so I've been hunting a bit less as well. But don't worry about that, because soon the Integrity Life Hacking event will be coming up. And I'm freaking thrilled for that, guys. God damn, I am hyped for that. That is freaking awesome. If you guys don't know, um, the Integrity Lead Up uh, event is coming up. It's going to be a life hacking event. We're going to team up with a whole bunch of guys. We've been talking about collaborations already. So, of course, expect some coverage of that. That's going to be awesome for the channel, for everything. And it's crazy how far we've come. Look at all of the swag I'm wearing, guys. I'm wearing this freaking beanie. I'm wearing my hoodie here. It's insane. I've got slippers over there and my wife is kitted out in exactly the same thing just because they are so kind to the community, you know? It's freaking amazing. Um, 
I've been hunting with them quite a lot. I haven't been hunting recently as much, but I will be hunting more because I want to get warmed up some more, you know, I want to get into the mood and I want to do some mobile hacking as well. That's going to be very important. That's why I also like my job. So that's kind of where the future of the channel is going. I got OSCP certified. Do I plan on getting more certifications? Yes, for sure. I'm thinking about getting OSWE, some guys that I did OSCP with or are close to, they also are doing OSWE now and it sounds pretty interesting to me, but I have to manage my time properly, that's very important because of course I have the YouTube channel, I have my day job, I have my kid, I have my wife, we need to spend time together, that's really important for me, you know, that's kind of the basis of my life and on top of that I can do other stuff. Now, um, I also plan on doing some content around releasing my own um, course. It's going to be pretty cheap, so I have did like, um, how shall I put this, I did like um, a form for you guys asking if you would buy it and you guys said it was too cheap, but I think I'm going with the price that I said, I'm not making any promises here. Um, the reason I am going to try to aim for that price is because I want to give everybody the opportunity to learn and it's also going to be free on YouTube so it's going to be one long episode just paste it together upload it to YouTube and the uh, big value from the course is going to come from the fact that you get a virtual machine with it that's going to have some really interesting vulnerabilities that are very lifelike and you're also going to get a PDF, of course, with exercises and you're going to get a split course. So the video files will be split there. It's, that's where the value is going to be. Um, that's kind of where I'm heading content wise as well. I'm going to spend some more time on the hacking part and some less time on the bug bounty part specifically. Now, why will I do this? Because I, it's more fun, you know, I really like hacking with you guys and that's why I started this whole channel. It's all about fun for me. Hacking is all about fun because you learn new things. And when I'm hacking with you guys, when we're doing these competitions like King of the Hill, it's really cool as well. And uh, I hope you guys will join me in the future for some of those games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a like. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye, hackers.